The devastation that rocked Japan in the wake of Friday's earthquake and tsunami started with one staggering number, 8.9. That was the magnitude of the quake that struck the country. Since 1900, there have only been four other earthquakes that registered higher on the scale. While the Sendai earthquake was the strongest ever recorded in the country, the zone around Japan has been active. Since 1973, there have been nine events of magnitude 7 or greater. Earthquakes of that strength are considered major and capable of creating widespread heavy damage. While strict Japanese building standards likely limited the destruction and death from the earthquake, there was little refuge from the 20-foot high wave and the subsequent tsunami. On Monday, an official in the Miyagi prefecture said a thousand bodies washed ashore. That raised the official death toll to nearly 1,900. But there are estimates of 10,000 dead in this prefecture alone. It may take a long time to understand the true human toll. By comparison, of the 230,000 people killed in the 2004 Pacific Ocean tsunami, 46,000 bodies were never recovered. But the Japan disaster has its own twist, an unprecedented nuclear crisis. 180,000 people have been evacuated from near the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Residents in a 12-mile radius have been told to stay indoors. Nationwide, 430,000 people are staying in emergency shelters, and there are more challenges ahead as Japan struggles to restore power and provide for the basic needs of people, including food and water. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.